Hello everyone, it's Tomas here once again. Today I'm going to explain how to create, overlap and substitute audio tracks using GarageBand and iMovie. This tutorial is intended for Mac users. Once you open GarageBand, the pre-installed Mac sound editing tool, you are given the choice to create a new project, select an instrument, a microphone in our case, and the input and output sources. As you can see, I've chosen an external microphone to complete this recording task, because the sound quality will be slightly better than with a built-in microphone. You may, of course, choose any of the options you prefer. Now click on the button with a red circle to get started with your scripted performance. When hay fever Polen invades your sinuses, oh. brings runny nose, watery eyes, take Dristan. Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Yes, Dristan's like... Sending your sinuses to Arizona. That is, Dristan helps you breathe free and easy, as if you were far away from pollen or allergy irritation. Yes, Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Helps dry, runny nose, itchy, watery eyes. You see, Dristan tablets shrink swollen, congested nasal and sinus passages which cause runny nose and watery eyes. So, you breathe free and easy fast. So, when pollen invades your sinuses causing hay fever miseries, don't wish you could be in sunny, dry Arizona. Just remember, Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Get Dristan decongesting tablets. Well, there you go. It's better to practice reading the script a few times beforehand and then check that the recording works properly. When hay fever pollen invades your sinuses, oh. brings runny nose. It sounds just fine and it has the right length. So now we export our new audio track, clicking on share, and then export to our hard drive. The format should be MP3, the lowest quality will be more than enough for our purposes, and the file name will be Dristen 1, the name of the product being advertised, and the stage that we are at. Then we click export and the program starts to render the file according to our configuration. Once it's finished, we are ready to check that everything works properly in the new mp3 file. When hay fever pollen invades your sinuses, oh. brings runny nose, watery eyes, take Dristan. Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Yes, Dristan. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. A new file with an audio recording of the script that we had written. But now comes the second part, how to introduce the new audio in the original video, either by superimposing or substituting the tracks. Go to iMovie, create a new film or a new project, that's the same system as in the Arich Band, and import both the original video and the new soundtrack. Dristen, the video, and Dristen, the sound in MP3 format. The next step is to drag and drop the video to the horizontal bar below and then attach the green bar below the video that you have just dragged to the horizontal bar. In that way you have the first track with video and audio and then the second, the audio alone. It is also possible to regulate the sound level of the original video. Place it at 20 to 25 percent to be able to listen to both tracks at the same time without the first one interfering on the second one. If you increase the size of the sound spectrum you will be able to see more clearly where your original soundtrack should start and of course you should make the necessary adjustments. For example if you want to suppress silences at the beginning or at the end. When hay fever pollen invades your sinuses, oh. brings runny nose, what real once you are satisfied with the results, the only thing left to do is to export the final product. You have the sound regulated at 20 or 25% in the original audio track. You have the sound at 100% or perhaps slightly higher in the one that you recorded later. And when you see that everything is correct, go to export. You may upload it directly to YouTube or export it as a file. Then give your file a name, for example, the name of the product followed by voiceover or the name of the product followed by number one if it's the first video you produce. 
You should also check that the quality is as low as possible, so that the file size is also as small as possible. This will make it easier for you to upload the resulting video to YouTube. The final step is to export it to your desktop, for example, or any other folder, and this will take a while, probably. It depends, one minute or two minutes, perhaps. It will be indicated in this small circle in the upper right corner. Then you see how the video is processed and immediately transformed into an mp4 file. This mp4 file has two soundtracks, thus a voiceover, an original track and another one. Take a look and then try yourself. When hay fever Poland invades your sinuses, Ow. brings runny nose, watery eyes, take Dristan. Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Very well, so that one's finished. The first version, imitation, is complete. Now, it is also possible to use iMovie directly to record a voiceover. For that, you lower the volume of the original soundtrack in the same way and then go to the beginning of the video, click on the small microphone in this small window on the upper right corner, you select the place in the horizontal bar where you want to start the voiceover, at the beginning for example, and immediately it counts 3, 2, 1 and you start talking. When hay fever Poland invades your sinuses, Ow. brings runny nose, watery eyes, take Dristan. Dristan's like sending your sinuses to Arizona. Yes. This voiceover tool allows you to do it in a single take, in several takes, or to adapt and superimpose more than one audio track. Same as before, make the adjustments and check that everything's all right. When hay fever Poland invades your sinuses, Ow. brings runny nose, watery eyes, take and that is the first fragment that I've completed using this tool. You continue from that point, you indicate it in the bar, you record again, and you go until the end. Then you export in the same way. File, desktop, and so on. In conclusion, with GarageBand and iMovie, you can produce both the dubbings and the voiceovers. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.